What's up guys, this is Jimmy aka Tang with Sleepy Bear Gaming. Just want to take a minute and talk about being good at fighting games as a casual gamer. Well, there's been a lot of talk about how to get better at fighting games and usually Mother Invention is experience in these games. You get used to movement, you get used to making sure you hit your bread and butters, but these things don't make a lot of sense to a casual gamer that's only going to play once a week, once every other week. We've had a lot of recent videos talking about it, and Maximilian just posted a video talking about how hard fighting games are, especially to casual gamers. How do you give advice when so much of the advice out there is steeped in jargon? I think as people who play this a lot, we look at it too much as how we would tell someone to get better if they were on the same level of ourselves. And we really need to be looking at what the fundamentals are that can transfer to each game. Every player falls in, especially the casuals, they fall into the same trap. They see something flashy online, they see something flashy that a character can do and they want to do it. They get into, whether it's Guilty Gear, you want to get into Roman Cancels, or you get into TAC Infinites with UMBC3 and Street Fighter 4 and it's unblockable nonsense. Well, with the uh, delayed wake up, they have new things now, but that was all about all Street Fighter 4 was basically getting setups off wake ups. But once again, they don't know anything about that. You have to really get into how does someone get good at a fighting game? Well, what's the basis of the fighting game? The basis of the fighting game is not take damage and deal damage. Tell people that they're going to need to work on the basics. Learn how to defend properly and learn how to get into damage properly. Sometimes you see things that are online that are very flashy and people will be like, oh, that doesn't work, that's not real. Well, that doesn't make any sense to people that are just casually watching this. They're like, it looks like a real combo to me. Well, it's not a real combo in a sense that it's not accessible. It's something you can pull off 100% of the time that only does 25% damage against a life bar is going to win you more matches than something you can pull off 15% of the time that does 70% of the life bar. So the moral of the story is don't get caught up in trying to execute high technical things that you see. Don't get caught up in the strategy guides that you're seeing dropping. Those strategy guides that come out, for the most part, are for people who are already well versed in the game. You can get there eventually, but you just want to work on your basics of your game. Watch how far your jab goes. Know where you stand to hit that jab. Know what you can do after you that jab. And people say, yeah, there's no tiers. There are tier lists. When you get into tier lists, there are tier lists, but... And people will say, well, that's only for high-end play. Well, that's not true. There's accessibility to the aspect of a tier list. A tier list not only shows you matchups, but there are some tier lists out there that are also ranking characters on levels of accessibility. And if you're a beginner player, you should not be playing expert level characters if you want to be any good. If you don't care about being good, by all means, go wild. But if you're playing Marvel, for instance, don't go in expecting to be able to win even at a decent clip if you're trying to go in there using characters like Sea Viper and Dante. These are characters that take a lot of execution to be good with, and no matter how much you love the character and want to play that character, if you're just a casual gamer and you're only playing limited time and you don't want to put in the time to be good at those things because you simply don't have it. It's the other thing about the fighting game community, a lot of these people have a lot of time to put into these characters. I can speak from a place where I don't have a lot of time and I primarily play with people who have the same level of time and I play with a lot of different casual gamers. I play with these, these two knuckleheads that they have plenty of game experience and if I go seriously on them, they're going to get destroyed. But that's okay because one of them understands, hey, I just need to defend the stuff and hit him back. And the other one is like, hey, Dante is really cool. What the hell am I doing? So in summary, make sure when you're playing a game that you want to play and you're trying to be competitive at it, but you are just a casual gamer, that you're not trying to shoot for the stars. We're not going to be first lord in Marvel. We're not going to be top 100 on the leaderboards in Injustice. But you can be competitive to a point where you're not getting throttled every time you go online and you can beat other casual players and above average players and you can at least remain competitive with the hardcore players just by having a very solid basic understanding of the framework of the game and with fighting games most of those frameworks are universal even if you go from something like Street Fighter to Smash Brothers 
the life bars work differently, as in one has a life bar and the other one has percents and you get launched off the stage, but the end result is the same. You're KO'd, you lose a stock. You're knocked out, you lose a round. Either way, just make sure you're picking a character that is well within an accessibility range for a casual player and make sure that your focus is on the basics of block, attack, and follow-up. Aquaman in Injustice was a great character because he was so good at the fundamentals of the game. The amount of damage he could convert off just his down two, which was a great anti-air tool, probably the best in the game, allowed him to compete with people who had much flashier combos and could do a lot more dangerous mix-ups. So guys, don't get disheartened when you're playing against people that are online or in the same room as you and they start beating you really badly, even if they start styling on you and <laughs> taking you to each edge of the screen. Just remember that, keep it simple, stupid. Make sure you're watching how they're coming with the attack and figure out how can you at least get hit in. That's always the first start. Every series of damage starts with a single hit. It's very easy to get frustrated when you're playing a fighting game. Even people who play them a lot and professionals, they all get frustrated. But just remember, at the core of the fighting game, is it's fun. We play it because it's fun, because it gives us hype moments where you see crazy comebacks and you see combos that you didn't think were gonna happen and follow-ups that you didn't think were gonna happen and edge of your seat comebacks with people with only slivers of health left. I gotta get an ass whooped. <laughs> 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 I don't even know what he's saying right now, but it's probably like... <laughs> Peace out, bitches! There's only one genre of this happens. So enjoy it, learn your basics, and don't get frustrated because we've all been there. Just play games, enjoy games, enjoy fighting games, and don't die as much as Red.